Hi. Okay, um, someone posted this on uh, Student Room, and um, I said I'd do an alternative method. And it's, I've done a method for integrating by parts, and it works out twice. But there is an alternative method. It doesn't come up very often in edXL exams. It's more frequently seen in AQA and MEI. And it's to do with rearranging the trig from sine 3x cos x into some form of, um, or sine of px plus cos qx in the form of sine a plus b plus sine a minus b, um, or cos of a plus b minus cos of a minus b. Um, and it would be some form of that. Um, but if it was an Excel paper, they'd lead you through the rearrangement of the trig first, and you'd get some marks for that. So in total, this would be a 9, 10 mark question, and you'd have to do some trig rearrangement before you did the, the, that interval. Um, <coughs> so all I can suggest is this is a Solomon paper question, or AQA or MEI. I've not seen this kind of thing um, requiring this method. Uh, which is why I did the integration by parts one before. Anyway, um, if we consider sine of 3x plus x and we add sine of 3x minus x, then expanding the brackets, so this is like sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b, I get sine of 3x cos of x <coughs> plus the sine of x cos of 3x, that's this one, plus the sine of 3x minus uh, cos of x minus the sine of x cos of 3x. So when I add these together, those two are going to double up, and these two are going to go away. So I get two lots of cos 3x sine of x, uh, two lots of sine of 3x cos of x. So that means that the uh, function in the integral <coughs> of sine 3x cos x is equal to half of sine of 3x plus x, which is 4x, plus sine of 3x minus x, which is sine of 2x. And so we're going to integrate um, that. Integral is half of the integral of naught pi by 4, sine 4x plus sine 2x, and integrate that with respect to x. Um, so we integrate sine of 4x, I get um, minus an eighth cos of 4x. And when I integrate um, the sine of 2x, I get minus a quarter of the cos of 2x. And I'm going to do that from naught pi by 4. Oh, I'm going to get rid of my minuses, because I don't, I don't want to do this, neither do you. Um, so times the inside by minus 1, and turn these upside down. So I'm going to integrate from pi by 4 to 0. So the first one I'm going to substitute in is my 0. Um, so 0 goes into cos of 4x, cos of 4 zeros is cos of 0, is 1 times an eighth, that's an eighth. And cos of 2 zeros, cos of 0 again, times a quarter. Uh, cos of 0 is 1 times a quarter is a half, so I've got an eighth and a quarter, and a quarter. And then I'm going to take away what happens when I substitute pi by 4 in. So cos of pi by 4 times 4, cos of pi is minus 1 times an eighth. So that's minus an eighth. So I've got to take away minus an eighth. And then if I put pi by 4 into cos of 2x, cos of 2 pi by 4 is cos of pi by 2, and that's 0. Um, so I've got to take away 0. Cool. Um, so I've got an eighth plus a quarter, take away minus an eighth, that's an eighth and a quarter, plus an eighth, and that's equal to a half as before. Hooray. Hope you like that. Um, I did. It was fun. Thanks very much. Um, make the most of your exams, and have a look at my other videos. Bye for now.